Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm just wondering if you've got any updates on how uh, Marcus Rashford is from the maybe the medical team and, and how you plan to re maybe replace him short term or long term going forward. Uh, he won't be fit for this game, that's uh, for sure. Uh, he's uh, he will be out for a while. Uh, he'll he'll get the time he needs to to recover, and uh, we've of course we're we're always looking at. Uh, improving the squad and see if there's any anything out there, but nothing that I can talk about now. Was it a, a pre-existing problem, or was it something that that did sort of crop up against Wolves? It's uh, he's not had that injury before. No, uh, he uh, he's he complained a little bit after um, after uh, what was it? But last time we played Burnley, he felt it the first time. And we managed him well, uh, as well as we could. Then he was uh, had some days off with treatment. He, we took him off in some games. He didn't start every game, and then suddenly this was a new uh, injury. So he didn't have any uh, injuries before then. No. How, how is he? Because it's obviously it's obviously a blow. Because considering he's playing the best football of his career. Yeah. No. He, but Marcus is good. He's a positive guy, and uh, he knows that um, this is. Uh, not what he wanted, but he's uh, he's always positive. He wants to get back as quickly as possible, but as and safely as possible. So we'll give him that time, uh, and when he's uh, when he feels uh, ready and medically we've we've cleared him, he'll he'll be back. You've got you've blooded plenty of youngsters this season. You've got the likes of Mella and Ramazani in your under 23s. Is, has this become kind of too soon for them as, as an opportunity? It might be too early for them yet, uh, so uh, of course Mason's uh, going to get more chances now. Uh, Juan will will have to uh, step up again, uh, so there'll be uh, more chances for the ones we're in, we've got in the squad. We know we're stretched with numbers, with with injuries we've had, but that's um, we'll we'll cope with that. Um, Gary Neville, in his usual forthright <laughs> manner yesterday pinned the blame for the recruitment issues <coughs> over the last four or five years at Ed Woodward's door. Do you, do you think that's fair? Well, for me now, is we've lost to Liverpool, a team that you all say are fantastic, and we've been in the game until the last kick of the ball. And for me, that strides forward. Of course, we're disappointed losing the game. We're, we don't want to... Uh, be behind them uh, in the league, but there were signs there that we are on the right track, definitely. And for me now is not the time to uh, start talking about uh, the recruitment. For, for me now, I think we're looking <coughs> towards the next game against Burnley. Yet yeah, we we're always looking to improve the squad. We're looking to improve the club. Uh, but for my mind, is uh, now is not the time, Gary, to. Uh, to, to start that discussion. But, but there are a lot of fans who look at the amount of money that's spent in transfer fees, the amount of money that's spent in wages and look at where you are in the league and where Liverpool are, for instance, and think that's just not not acceptable. Well, you can, you can look back at uh, history and, of course, we, we, we know we're not where we want to be and should be and historically we have been so it's just down to us now to to work better i've been here 12 13 months and <laughs> my experience with uh, the players we've brought in have been good so i can't uh, complain whatsoever